Welcome to episode two of Lessons from a Horse. I'm your host, Bethany Tusky, and today I will be speaking with Jessie Vivian about her experience of learning how to do yoga on horseback. Jessie is a wife, mother, homeschool teacher, homesteader, yoga instructor, Reiki practitioner, and apothecary crystal shop owner. Jessie is driven to help as many people as she can, supporting them on their wellness journey. She offers many healing modalities at Riverside Studio in Rochester, Wisconsin, owned and operated by herself and other female providers. Jessie has a big love for God and all things nature. She enjoys spreading light and love. So before we dive into our interview with Jesse, I thought I'd give you a little overview on what yoga on horseback is, um, in case any of you listening aren't familiar with this idea. Basically, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's doing yoga on top of a horse instead of on the ground as it's traditionally done. This can be anything from very basic stretches, which I'll often do with my regular horseback riders um, as a way of getting them to relax and loosen up while they're riding the horse um, and to increase balance and flexibility in the saddle. Um, so just simple arm movements or leg movements are where it starts out at, but it can go get more complicated from there, moving up into some advanced yoga poses where you're actually standing and moving around on the horse, um, even doing things like a warrior pose or a tree pose or a headstand while on the horse. Um, so it's something that is available to people of all different experience levels um, from just, like I said, the basic stretching um, all the way up through really advanced yoga moves. Um, it's not something that's done super commonly. It's um, not as well known, but it is a lot of fun and it's a really good challenge. So with that in mind, we'll get right into our interview with Jesse. Well, thank you for joining me here today, Jesse. I'm so excited to have you. So welcome to Thanks our for podcast. Me. Thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah. It's always nice to be here. We're so excited to have you. All right, so let's just dive right into it. So um, for our listeners, just tell us a little bit about what you do um, and what you offer at Riverside Studio. Sure thing. So Riverside Studio is a brand new wellness center. We basically like to call ourselves full service. Um, we have a studio that allows for large to small group yoga, Pilates, meditation, um, we also have a massage therapist on staff. We offer Reiki or energy healing services, um, some tarot and oracle card readings for entertainment. And then we have a full apothecary and crystal store attached to the studio um, where we have an herbalist on staff ready to answer any of your questions for nutrition. Um, and she has all sorts of amazing products to help you get through winter season, Get through the flu season teas tinctures things like that so uh, we really offer a whole scope of things just to help you on your wellness journey yeah that's awesome it sounds like you really do have a lot going on there it's um, really fun i've done yoga and some reiki with jesse before and um, really enjoyed it she's a great instructor um i've had a lot of fun working with her and it's really cool to see um you know, you growing and developing. Um, you haven't had your studio for that long, correct? Correct. We've been there just shy of two years, and the apothecary crystal shop attached to it was just opened about six weeks ago. Awesome. So not too long. Yeah, yeah. so you've really been growing and developing a lot yes, in the last couple of years. Yes, we were really, really grateful to get through the COVID year um, and still be growing through that. Uh, we were just so appreciative of the community and the support. Such people like yourself, so thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, awesome. Cool. All right, so um, tell us a little bit about your background um, 
and you can talk about how you got interested in the yoga and then maybe if you have any horse experience or that kind of thing and kind of what led you up to wanting to try doing yoga on horseback. Absolutely. Because it's so, kind of a crazy thing, you know, is. right, that not many it people is. have done. So not many it's people. really cool, it uh, is. cool it's, thing that you've done. So, it's yeah. super fun. Tell Thank us you how so you much. got there. <laughs> so um, I started my yoga journey about maybe 15 to 20 years ago, personal journey. Um, and then that led me into wanting to instruct and to kind of carry on the tradition to other people. So about four years ago now, I took the certification to become a yoga instructor. Um, and I started practicing at local areas in the Union Grove area, Burlington area, um, pretty much all over southeastern Wisconsin. Um, and that's actually when I met you. Yeah. Um, Bethany, you came to one yep. of my community yep. yoga mm -hmm. programs. Um, and that's where you kind of sparked an interest in me saying, you know, I really enjoyed yoga, a lot of the things that you do, we also do in our beginner's horse training. Yep, yep. And I thought to myself, how wild that there's a crossover in something that's totally different scopes. Um, you know, I, I really never put the two together. Um, and then I, oddly enough, I saw a couple of videos of uh, vaulting on mm. horses and that led me to go, wow, you really can put the two together. Sure. Um, I do not have any previous horse experience. <laughs> um, I've ridden horseback on like trails and things yeah. like that. I've gone to a dude ranch out in Colorado. Um, and I've definitely had fun around horses. Um, I'm an animal lover, so I've never been really afraid of horses as some people can be. Um, but after I met you and kind of did a little research, I came out here to Dover Stables and gave it a try and, you know, put the two together and yeah. it was really fun, challenging. Um, it did make me a little scared, not of the animal, but of the process. Sure. Um, some things that are new can be intimidating. But, yeah, absolutely. Um, here we are three years later and I've just been having a blast doing it. So, uh, yeah, I, awesome. I don't know. It's just That's such really a neat cool. thing. Yeah. 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 I remember when uh, we first came to that class and I think, um, we had started talking and actually your daughter had taken a riding That's lesson right. she um, with us here mm -hmm. um, so there was that connection there yes. um, and that that was what kind of brought up the horses Absolutely. and then yeah it just kind of grew from there yep. yeah it was yeah. awesome yeah it's Divine been really timing for yeah me. definitely yeah, <laughs> yeah yeah I love when those little things happen yeah it's like nuances. crazy connections that Yep, no. and it's yeah. grown our relationship and friendship into yeah. more than just horses, yeah, so definitely. I'm very appreciative yeah. of that. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> very cool. Um, so tell us a little bit about your experience of trying out yoga on horseback, especially since you didn't have that previous um, horse experience. Absolutely. So the biggest thing that I needed to overcome in the beginning was trust. Um, trusting you, Bethany, um, handling the horse and making sure that I was doing the proper thing. Um, and then trusting the horse, of course, because I'm on top of it and it's much higher than my normal legs. So um, just being able to be confident in myself as well, um, trusting that I was doing the right thing with my footing and um, treating the horse as properly as possible so that it wouldn't be upset with me. Um, so a lot of it was overcoming a trust issue um, and then kind of pushing myself to to do things that are outside of the, the normal comfort zone, um, stepping out of the box, right? Uh, I, I struggled in the beginning. I'd probably say for maybe like the first, what, three to five lessons, I was a little intimidated about <laughs> standing up. Sure, yeah. I was a little intimidated about uh, finding a headstand on a sure. horse, but... I just, I really pushed myself to go, okay, you're more than capable. The physical body is capable. Um, now it's just a mind game. Yeah, so yeah. once we can control that mind yeah, and put definitely. thoughts in the right bucket, I think that really a lot of magic can happen. Yeah, and yeah. now we can do all those things, right? Yeah, so. that's really cool. I think a lot of times, even with uh, regular horseback riders um, who are just riding, not necessarily doing the yoga, that's something that they struggle with too, is kind of that mind aspect where their body is capable of doing what they want, but it's the mind that's right. holding them up. So, right. yeah, that's... Our mind is such a big machine. Right? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. So being in control of it can be the biggest challenge of yeah, it all. Yeah, definitely. But I really do feel like this has put me in a position to take that challenge on top of a horse 
um, to other aspects of the life. You know, sure. we can go ahead and use that same mind game and mindset and apply it to anything. Yeah, so I'm appreciative awesome. of the process for sure. Really cool. Do you think it's changed um, your yoga practice outside of on the horse? Oh my gosh, absolutely. Um, being on top of a horse and doing yoga, you have the the whole aspect of balance being different. Sure, um, definitely. Yeah, you're on a, on a moving platform. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the body is memorizing different positions on a horse versus on the ground. So taking the yoga practice back onto the mat, onto a solid earth, has totally changed my muscle memory. Um, it's taught me to realize what challenges the body goes goes under when it's doing something completely different from its norm. Um, so I've pushed myself even further on a earth platform mm. um, so that I'm stronger when I get on top of that horse sure. when there's a moving platform. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that makes sense. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Cool. Um, so as you were going through this process of learning, um, are there any challenges? Well, you kind of already talked about that, but challenge, specific challenges or triumphs that you encountered along the way? Yeah, so <laughs> I've always been a performer. Um, going back to my childhood years, I was a baton twirler. I did gymnastics. I played all sorts of sports. So I liked to be um, kind of that athletic role model for other people. Um, and this was just another sport that I could put in my jacket of things that I enjoyed. <laughs> um, so one of the challenges that comes with that, though, is making sure that people who are also interested in it are taking the right avenues and sure, staying safe definitely. and learning to trust their own body and to trust the horse. Um, so we held a couple of workshops mm -hmm. where we yep. could train and teach people how to do it. And yeah. I think that was actually more challenging to me okay. than it would be me being the person to practice. Okay, interesting. It's almost as if I, you know, you're having another person's life in your hands. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> and you yeah. want to make sure they're they're doing all the right things and that they're staying safe and their body's being secure and comforted on top of the moving platform. There's lots of moving pieces sure, definitely, to it. Definitely. Um, so that was a big challenge. And then when we're at, and you know, performance mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. um, I was always a little more nervous <laughs> on those days. And you know, when you're nervous on top of a horse, they can pick up on those emotions. They can sense your communication of fear. Um, so that was challenging to overcome that anxiety on performance days to make sure that the performance was just as good as all of the practices. Yeah. I think that's to something it. that we all kind of go yeah. through before a performance. Right. Yeah, yeah, you definitely. know, there's a lot more eyes on you yes. <laughs> and a lot more eyes on the horse. Yeah. And yeah. things can kind of become a little unpredictable. Sure. Um, so just again, going back to that trusting mindset that everything's going to be okay and you've got this. Yeah. You know? yeah. You've got this, Jesse. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Kind of trusting your body right. that it already knows what to do. Right. and you know, not letting your mind get in the way again. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. For sure. Very cool. Um, you've done some pretty cool things in some of your performances and it's been really fun to watch you kind of um, meet those goals and, um, you know, things like doing warrior pose on a horse yes. and tree pose. I know that was a little bit of a challenge for you, but you were fun, able though. to accomplish it yes. and did it in a performance. So that's really cool. Thank that's you so awesome. much. It was a, a fun time to be able to coordinate all those performances and to pick the songs that kind of go with what's happening in life um, and then of course <laughs> you know choosing some of those challenging positions that uh, you know maybe people don't always see yeah. on a regular basis yeah, somebody definitely. doing a tree pose on top of a horse mm -hmm. Very um, and cool. we did incorporate baton once as well. yeah we did that's yeah, right that yeah. Was fun. Mm -hmm. yeah 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 <laughs> yep. yeah very cool Very yeah fun. yeah very cool. Um, are there any other lessons that you kind of learned along the way um, that you can maybe apply to your life outside of horses? Yeah, so going back to what I mentioned earlier about the connection with animals, um, truly I've never had a, an intimate relationship with, a, with an animal the way that I have with doing horse yoga. Okay, um, interesting, because you do have pets, right? I do have yeah. pets. I have dogs, cats, chickens, ducks, and um, yeah, we've had yeah. rabbits before, all yeah, sorts sure. of things. But the connection that um, happens, that, that relationship that I've had with the horses you've let me be on top of, there's just been, it's been amazing. It's been, um, 
a connection like you would have with a good friend. Ah, okay. Um, uh-huh. Communicating with motion, communicating sure. with touch, um, and, and having uh, you know God kind of play a role in all of that. It's been. Um, how do I say it? Like little whispers of a good friendship coming through with an animal. It's been I really love that. Fun. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. And you know, they're not mine to take home. I don't get to sure. spend a ton yeah. of time with yeah. them. Um, but truly trusting the animal and the animal truly yeah. trusting you. And Yeah. Uh, and even in that little time that you do work with them, you can really develop a strong connection. Yeah. Right? So that's really cool. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, I just feel so good that there are animals that are large, like horses, that you still can just find such gentleness with. Mm, yeah, I definitely. appreciate it for yeah. sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. And to take that into the real life, I think that I've been able to soften a bit with my own children. Okay. I've uh-huh. been able to um, soften with my relationships with people yeah. and kind yeah. of uh, just approach things in a little gentler manner, okay. like a horse would. Sure. Awesome. That's really cool. Yeah. 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 Awesome. I really appreciate the opportunity. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, you're welcome. Like <laughs> I said, it's been a lot of fun uh, doing this with you. Um, and you, you. kind of encouraged me to try it out, too. Yes. Um, so I've done a little bit, too. And that's been a lot of fun and definitely a challenge for me as well. Right. Um, and it's just been really fun to watch you and kind of the journey you've Thank been you going so on with it. Yeah. I appreciate yeah, it so very much. Really, really <laughs> cool. Yeah. Um, is there anything else you'd like to share with us about your experience? Well, I think that if you are at all interested in horse yoga, you should give it a try. Um, Take a look at some of the pictures of Bethany and I and some of the other people that have kind of taken an under um, here at Dover Stables and through Tusky Dressage. Um, I believe that there are a couple of uh, hashtags out there that we've created, like Horse Yoga Rider. Mm -hmm. um, Yoga on Horseback, I think. Yoga on Horseback. So check out those hashtags and see some of the really interesting poses that are out there and um, if you have any suggestions for Bethany and I, I would really yeah, love to yeah, be challenged and yeah. see if there's a pose out there that we haven't already conquered. Definitely. That would be fun. Yeah. And uh, Jesse had mentioned that we've done some workshops here in the past, and I think that's definitely something that we'll be uh, doing in the future again. Um, so if you're interested in learning more about yoga on horseback, um, Make sure to follow both of our pages um, and kind of keep in touch and uh, watch out for those too yeah. if it's something uh, that you're interested in. We've also done private lessons too, for so sure. that's another option um, if it's something that you're interested in. So It's yeah. definitely a fun workout nonetheless. Yeah, yeah, that, <laughs> yes, it, it is. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and I think... Um, for riders, you know, people who are just regular horseback riders, it provides kind of more of a challenge and kind of a fun thing to do. And it can actually really increase your confidence on the horse. Um, because if you can stand on a horse now, all of a sudden sitting on them and just riding really isn't as scary of a thing. And it really um, kind of builds your confidence and your balance and your coordination and all of those things that are so important for us as riders anyway. So it's really kind of a cool complement to your regular horseback riding as well. Sure. Yeah, so it can work for horseback riders who want to try something different and also yogis who maybe aren't, you know, horse people but want to try something different with their with their yoga, right? Yeah, yeah, take the skill to the next yeah, level yeah. for sure. Yeah, very cool. It's, yeah, it's really fun. Yeah, awesome. All right, so um, to wrap up, I've got a couple quick questions for sure. you, and I didn't prepare you for these oh, ones, so this okay. is going to be off the cuff. Um, just quick answer. Don't put a lot of thought into it. Just give me your first first thought. You okay? betcha. Let's All see. right. <laughs> Let's see. What is one thing you've learned recently, and it can be about anything? Um, I've learned. Oh boy. (laughs) I have learned that um, it's important to connect with nature even when it's super cold and snowy outside. It's about nine degrees here right now. (laughs) Um, Because nature will really allow you to reset yourself. So uh, go ahead and go outside even when it's nine degrees outside. (laughs) Yeah, awesome. Really cool. Um, Share a favorite horse memory. Ooh, um, I remember being on top of um, my very first horse, Shiloh, and uh, Shiloh had a very large back, and so I didn't feel as nervous Mm -hmm. because I felt like um, 
basically I could lay on her like a couch. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then I remember her being very sweaty and mm. and still falling or slipping off the backside <laughs> of her and realizing, okay, it doesn't matter how big they are, you can still slip off. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, what is a book that you're currently reading or have read recently? Oh, um, I'm reading a chapter book with my son. It's the Magic Treehouse series. Okay. Um, I know it sounds silly that that's what I'm reading, but I'm reading out loud to him. And yeah. we are on the book number two, um, The Magic Treehouse Visits the Knights. Okay. So it's all about visiting a castle. Okay, really yeah. cool. It's really fun. Yeah, it's I mean, sometimes book. those children's books can oh, have yeah. a lot of great lessons in yeah, them. Yeah, it's fantastic. And, yeah. Very That's magical awesome. and fun. Cool. I'll have to check that out. Yeah. For something to read to Zeke. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good cool. series. Awesome. <laughs> all right. Okay, here's a good one. If you could share a message with the world, what would it be? If I could share a message with the world, it would be lead with the light in your heart. Um... Kindness goes a long way, and finding a little bit of compassion can really set the tune for anybody you come into contact with. So just be a good person. Awesome. Lead with light in your heart. I love that. That's really cool. <laughs> awesome. All right. So uh, where can our listeners connect with you? Where can they find you? You can find me on Facebook um, at Chi Trees and Oils. So Chi is C-H-I, Trees and oils or at Riverside Studio. Um, both companies are owned and operated by me. Um, those are both on Facebook or on Instagram. Very cool. Awesome. So and I will put the links to those uh, in the notes too awesome. for this podcast. So I awesome. appreciate it. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Jesse. It's really cool to talk to you. Thanks and, for having me, um, Bethany. Yeah, awesome. It's been really fun. <laughs> thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. I'd love it if you'd share your thoughts on this podcast in the comments. I always enjoy hearing from our listeners. If you enjoyed this podcast, please consider leaving a review and sharing with your friends. If you want to learn more about developing a better partnership with your horse, you can check out our website, tuskydressage.com, or search for Tusky Dressage on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube. And you can also sign up for our virtual classroom on Patreon at patreon.com backslash Tusky Dressage. And lastly, if you're looking to go even deeper into the lessons our horses have for us, you can check out my book, God's Heart Through a Horse's Eyes, available on Amazon and Amazon Kindle. Thanks again for joining me on Lessons from a Horse, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.